Yo, 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 what's going on guys, it's Pagan here. Uh, today, I've got some DLC, and uh, I'm going to sort of review it, I guess, uh, talk to you guys a bit uh, about it, and what I think of it, and yeah, I just uh, just downloaded a couple of hours ago, I've been playing uh, TDM on it, mainly, I've played a couple of OBJ games, but um, I don't know, I just found, everybody seemed to camp next to flags on Dom, and yeah, it was quite annoying, but um, I found all of them pretty good actually. The everyone says the core, the big sand sort of map is not very good, but I, I found it. I found it pretty enjoyable. So yeah, um, my favourite would probably be sideshow. Like most people, I know I sort of sound like a sheep. Everybody says their favourite sideshow, but uh, yeah, it's it's um it's a massive map, but it's um it's real open, so it's not like uh, everyone's just sitting in corners and stuff. It's more snipers and assault rifles. Everyone's sitting up top, so. Yeah, yeah, I've, I like that map a lot. Um, Drift, I'm not really a big fan of that. Like, um, that's the new map for COD Champs, uh, SND and CTF. But it's like freaking massive, and there's so many spots where kids just sit in corners, and yeah, it's kind of bullshit. But I don't understand why they wouldn't have picked like Sideshow is obviously a bit too open for a competitive map. But yeah, they could have picked. Oh, I think personally they should have just kept BioLab um, CTF, but. That's just me, and Recovery was probably one of my favourite S&D maps for competitive or ranked player or whatever you play. But yeah, um, and the other map is, let's think about this, Urban. Urban's like a fast paced map, like I probably got, if I got 35 kills I'd get 20 deaths, it's, it's real quick paced map. Um, the spawns are not very good, you always spawn next to enemies and yeah, you seem to get spawn killed, but it's more of a subby map I'd say. Um, on the gameplay here, I believe I'm playing on Sideshow. Uh, I'm using the HBR, just the normal version, with a red dot and grip, because I don't actually have any other attachments. But um, yeah, I was, going, I was going pretty well. I was on like a 15 at the start, and then I don't know, I got killed somehow, and pretty annoying. I want to try and get a D DNA on one of the DLC maps to uh, show you guys, but uh, I'm trying. So yeah, I'll uh, keep grinding it out. TDM's sort of hard because. You basically get one streak and it's uh, game over. You can't really do much else. But because um, it's 75 kills, it's, it's pretty quick. That, I, I like them though. They're like, sort of like five minute games. They're quite fast paced, which is good. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend uh, checking them out, the the maps, and maybe buying them if you, if you enjoy them. Uh, if you enjoy the look of them, sorry. Um, they're, they're not really that expensive. It's 20 bucks, $20 Australian for four maps and uh, zombies. Uh, I'm not sure what zombies is. I haven't played it yet, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty decent. So I'd be, I'd definitely recommend it, picking it up. Um, the next DLC comes out on the 30th of March, I believe, for Xbox, and uh, the 30th of April, I think, for for PlayStation. Which is one of the reasons why I switched over to Xbox, because yeah, basically, Xbox is favoured in every way. Like they get all the content first and. You know, they, they've got, like, we've got all this new exclusive gear, like royalty, ex uh, new royalty gear and new heaps of different types of gears, and yeah, uh, PlayStation haven't got it, which is which is quite silly, really. I don't know why you'd favour one console so much, considering they've probably got about equal amount of uh, players, but that's alright. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, if you guys enjoy these sort of videos, um, I'm happy to play on the other on the other maps, uh, see in get some gameplays on there, see if you guys enjoy them. I think in this one I end up going maybe 35, 36 and 10 or so. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. I got that streak at the start and the warbird went to work, but yeah, it's a, it's a very sniper heavy map, uh, Sideshow. So yeah, I'd recommend uh, using a sniper or an AR or even the Amali, the, that light machine gun is very, very OP. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's about it for today. If you enjoyed uh, this commentary gameplay, be sure to drop a like. Uh, it really helps out, and you know it's good to get some feedback. Uh, leave those in the comments, the feedback. And yeah, if you want to see more videos and you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. It uh, means a lot. And um, thanks for watching. This has been your boy Pagan. Cheers.
Our UAV is online. Nice work, Sentinel.